Cookie, cookie, cookies! Cookies! Red it's your boy Dr. Madness coming at you with another live stream. Tonight we are running live game premiere of Ethel, a brand new indie horror experience. Okay, here we go. Is Thomas Myrtle. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Mm, Ethel. Alright, Thomas Myrtle. Was that him running? Or was that his grandma running? Bruh. Okay, so present day is past day. So 1963 is where we at. Mm. Oh, they got us out in the dark? <clears throat> Let's begin. Okay, flash. What was the flashlight toggle? Okay. Thank you for not including a battery meter. So I can sit here and not have to have that constant stress on me. All right, I guess we're gonna make our way toward the house. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Ooh, house looks grimy. Yeah, graphics are on point. I feel like I'm about to walk into that Resident Evil house. Ooh. Okay. It's locked. I'll check around back. Now you say it's a lot of mysteries and puzzles. Now are you guiding? <gasps> Were those eyes? I'm tweaking, bro. I thought that was a set of eyes. Are those a set of eyes on that shelf? Ooh, I don't like stuff like that. Can I grab? Ooh, oh God. Did you throw jump scares in here? Cause the jump scares are in this game. Wait, they want me to check around back? Does the, does the, does the porch wrap around? Wait, can I check around that way? I mean, maybe I need to check, check. This is tweaking me out already. No breathing room. No soft intro. Ugh. This is the house has been kind of graffitied over. Got the creepy family in there. Okay, well, that's boarded up. I'm getting kind of tweaked because I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I might get scared up on. Wait, so you want to check around back? I'm around back. Grandma? I mean, it's boarded up. So, oh wait. Who the hell boarded this up? There has to be something around here I can use to take these down. There was an axe around front. Don't make me walk around. Whoa. There was an axe around front. Do I want to go back in? Wait, there's sprint or am I choosing to walk? Let me take a peek at the chat. Okay, looks good, looks good, okay. Oh my god. This better be where I gotta grab. I knew something was up with you in the beginning. Thank you, could I have grabbed that earlier? Oh. 
Oh, there she is. That that the gram is that grandma? Looks like a pair of eyes on that shelf. Grandma. Grandma. So me and grandma have been beefing ever since she accused me of taking her meds. I wake up one morning, she's dead. And now we got beef from the grave. Let's go. Get all that down. Get all that down. <laughs> Wait. Look at these lights on. Yeah, I like those are going to work. I like how you can click them though. Oh. Ooh. All right, I'm starting to get tweaked now. Ugh. Mm, yep. Ugh. Gotta start squinting. Gotta start squinting. I already know something gonna be at that one down that hallway. Ugh. We gotta start squinting. Acrylics? Ugh. Oh, these are oils. What are these? These are fancy ones. These are expensive oils. I used to work at the art store. Those are old Holland. <laughs> Alright, come on. Time to face my demons. <clears throat> Squinting, squinting. Oh. In a photo from years ago, my great great grandfather stands proudly beside his daughters, nieces, and nephews a few years after completing the house he built with his two sons. I recall my grandmother mentioning that they all fell seriously ill shortly after its construction. Could it have been due to materials used building in it? <clears throat> so they built it with lead, they got those asbestos. <clears throat> I got Jeff Bezos. There's something engraved on the four digit log. Can you zoom? TM. You can find me if you try, but I can't be seen with the naked eye. So, Grandma didn't left her first riddle? Was that the riddle from Grandma? You should know better. Uh, no, I'm not lagging on my end. How's it looking? Are you guys getting any lag? I'm looking pretty good for me. I don't, it's running pretty smoothly. Okay. I'm just, it just looks like it's lagging because I'm not walking because I'm tweaked. Fridge, go fridge, call refrigerator, co refrigerator, coffee refrigerator. Open. Ah! What? No, oh, what is. What is that? Did something jump out that fridge? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Did a rat just jump out that fridge? I was not ready. I was not ready for that. Uh, what's up in here? Old milk, old yogurt? Here, close that bag. And shout out to Pinky Winky. <clears throat> oh, that got me a little tweak. I don't want to open nothing else. All right, what's in the... Uh. <clears throat> All right. All right, so something I can't be seen with the naked eye. So <clears throat> I guess I got to put some clothes on something. I'm scared to turn around, man. Okay. Soy sauce? Is that they put soy sauce in cans like that back then? That's wild. <clears throat> I guess you had to put it in something. 
I'm kind of scared to look around, to be honest. I don't want to look behind me, but I figure I'll just, I guess it's time. I'm tweaked off that rat, bro. Home, home, home sweet home, kitchen ideas. I'm so tweaked, I don't want to look down this hallway. You know, y'all don't realize. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Which way to go, bro? <laughs> oh, God. Graffiti out, graffiti out. <clears throat> okay. Nineteen forty nine. What year is it? Okay, so who wrote this? It's a lot of. All right, it's a tough journey. Grateful to have my grandparents. <clears throat> so, did you write this in the past? I've been crashing on the couch. So I guess this is the letter you wrote. You had nothing. You were crashed on the couch, Becky. I know you'll never read this. I'm sorry. Our mar marriage fell apart. Because of my battle with drugs and alcohol. Is he, is he writing this to himself or to Becky? I'm proud to say that though I've been clean for two years now, slowly but surely getting my life back on track. However, it's not all smooth sailing. My grandmother's health is declining and it's heartbreaking to witness her struggle with forgetfulness. She tries to write new stories for her books, but her memory fails her after just a few sentences. We're doing our best to keep this from the press, but it's a battle we're fighting silently. So is grandma a popular writer? Despite her health issues, she still gets up every morning at 4 a.m. like clockwork to make us both a fresh cup of coffee. Those early mornings spent together on her front porch, sharing coffee in her conversation are precious moments I'll always cherish. As for Pa, he's been working tirelessly lately. Our connection, once strong during my younger years, seems to have faded. He appears lost distant even. I had hoped that our shared experiences of fighting the wars would bring us closer, but it seems it has driven a wedge between us instead. Aww. It's a disheartening realization, but I'm the one determined to navigate through. Overall, each day brings its own challenges and blessings. I'm holding on to the hope and grateful for the family I have, even amidst the struggles we face. Well, I'm glad he got that out of system. So why'd you go steal grandma's meds after that, Tom? Hmm? All right. All right, let's keep digging around the house. Can I sprint? So this is where I, this is where you slept. Dang, bro, you didn't clean up. Like, did you leave in the middle of the night after the incident? What happened? Like, were you? This is nasty, bro. And grandma just allowed this. Is that grandma? The remains of my great grandmother. Her picture is above. Pa used to talk about her all the time. Okay. I'm not ready to put them stairs. Grandmama? 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 Grandmama, are you there? Grandmama? Bruh. <laughs> What's in here? <laughs> Just a dash. Ain't no way this man's face was looking like that back in freaking, uh... 
<laughs> what, bro? <laughs> Just a dash washing powder. Puss scent it. Smells so good you'll get the puh up to one million washes. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Immersion just got broken, buddy. I'm just fucking. <laughs> Alright, um, all right, nothing in the bathroom right now. Let me okay. Imagine grandma was sitting behind the curtain. Can we look at the paintings on the wall? So I realize there's a lot of exposition. <clears throat> My great great uncle, along with his wife and their young daughter, posing of the grand house they inherited with his father standing historically behind them as a loyal butler oh he looks mad eerie they all do this historic home stood long before those some of the foundation stand strong as i creep down the hallway i'm just uh, mm. I feel like i'm a resident evil for real mm. Oh my god, I'm in, I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for it. Yeah, give me something else to read to buy me more time. Yeah, I can read. I can sit here and read all this instead. <laughs> the morning was unexpectedly turbulent. Grandma accused me of taking her pills of reverting to my old ways. It stung her to hear those words, especially since I've been clean and proud of it. But I understand that old age can sometimes play on her memory. I didn't touch those pills. We were probably left on the coffee table, forgotten. The confrontation left me feeling disheartened and misunderstood. However, Grandpa surprised me by offering to spend some quality time together later tonight. He suggested playing a few hands of poker and letting me vent about the situation. I'm sure he'll bring up his favorite 1914 story. The year he was drafted into war. So who am I writing these stories to? So is Thomas writing these stories to himself and then just leaving them around the house? Anyway. It was a welcome change from the tension with Grandma, and it would be a chance to connect them again. Especially since we haven't spent much time together. He's always locked away in what he calls his art room when we were in there, but I've yet to catch a glimpse of it. He's incredibly secretive, keeping everything under lock and key. The other day, I caught him painting the walls, but strangely, there was no paint left behind. Hmm. It's kind of, hmm. Perhaps those paint fumes are starting to get to him. So Grandpa and Grandma got some weird stuff going on with both of them. So maybe they're already dead, bro. You should know. I don't know. Maybe they're already dead. Being falsely accused of someone I love hurts deeply, but I'll try to maintain patience and understanding. Family is everything, even when they're mistaken. I mean, I guess, but not if they acting like, you know, staying in the art room all day. You, know, you got to tell me what's going on in that art room, right? All right. Everything's locked. Man, something's gonna hit me on the hallway. All right, so this is locked. All right. Let me go back down the hallway. Oh. Ooh. Did I hear something or am I tweaking? Oh. Oh my god. Yo, what are these? Oh. I need something to open up. Right, so what am I trying to do? Get into that padded room? Nothing about the bird. This is our bird, Birdie.
All right, do I need to go back? I do not want to go back outside, man. Oh my god, I'm like scared to look forward, so I'm just kind of looking sideways and then looking down. Then we'll scoop up. <laughs> Ew, anything? Anything in there? Let me walk all in there. Oh my god. I'm just. I want to get back to that door, I guess. It would be nice if this was a cleaning simulator. You could start just cleaning everything up. You can find me if you try, but I can't be seen with a naked eye. <clears throat> so maybe I got to go back. Maybe I got to think about this. Is there an objective list? There is no objective list. If I hit escape, let me hit this. Did I see the options menu? Okay. Make sure I'm not missing any controls. Crouch, interact, pause. Okay. So it can't be seen with the naked eye. What like so I'm thinking you put something you gotta put you gotta put something over your eye like sunglasses. Let's open this back up. You can't even open it up again? Oh yeah, you can. Did I miss something? Can't be seen with the naked eye. Well, I got a flashlight. Does that count as not the naked eye? I'm just scared to look around this house, but I wish I can grab one of these. How has this guy not tweaked out? Can't be seen with the naked eye. Okay, nothing on the piano. Do I can't lift the rug. Heat radiation? <laughs> no, I don't think there's... No, oh, what? And the, maybe there is some radiation in this old house, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. Grandmama. Okay. Woo, woo, woo. Ugh. Sorry. Grandmama. Okay. I'm back upstairs. Did we read this? Grandma's parents, years after finishing the very home I'm standing in. Nobody looked happy in any of these photos. I can't be seen with the naked eye. Hmm. Are there any more hints or riddles anywhere? Do I have to get naked? I mean, no, naked and I are the can't be seen. I need to. All right, if I can figure this out, maybe no way. You know what? I bet I can figure this out. I can figure this thing out. I can figure this thing out. Thank you for joining the madness. Welcome to the stream. Now I can figure this thing out. I ain't worried about it. Can't be seen. Let me let me brave up. Let me look around. I'm about to brave up and figure this out, okay? You want me to figure it out? Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. You should have gave me some riddles. Son, why I can't be seen with the naked eye. I don't know why I can't be seen with the naked eye. Naked, make it fly. <gasps> oh! Oh! Uh -uh! I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't. Oh, I hate stuff like this. Where that coming from? Oh, all right. Oh, I'm done, bro. I'll quit out of. Oh, dude, I'll quit out of a game for way less. 
<laughs> Yo, you better tell me what to do, dude. <laughs> I quit out for way less. All right. <laughs> bro, <laughs> hold on, bro. Bro, you should know better. Hold on, bro. Games like this tweak me out. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> No, no, keep, keep that no bad. Keep that no bad. Give me something to read, bro. Give me something to read. Give me something to read. It looks like the key to the foundation. Bruh. Did Granny happen in the door? I didn't see what happened. All right, so I got the key. I got the key. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing else in here I need to get. All right. Erica, okay, give me something to read, yes. Give me something to read. Journal entry, September 15th, 1949. Two decades spent in this dump. Each creak of the wooden floorboards a reminder of the monotony that surrounds me. Our grandson's arrival, though celebrated by others, only amplifies the dull ache of boredom that has settled into the very bones of this place. He's hating on this place. The walls seem to close in as the routine of these isolated woods stifles any sense of excitement or purpose. In these moments, I find my mind wandering back to the days of war. Wait, so is this from him or, gran or Grandpa? I guess this is him, because he's thinking back to his war PTSD. Um, <clears throat> A time where every heartbeat mattered, and the thrill of the unknown eclipsed the mundane existence. Bruh. The idea of returning to the battlefield with this chaos and danger seemed almost preferable to the dreary routine of life in this homestead. Dang, you'd rather be back in war? So he's getting like reverse PTSD? In the midst of Ethel's illness, my truck's rhythmic purr and the art of painting became my lifeline, guiding me through the emptiness. Oh, is this the grandpa's perspective? The canvas became the sanctuary where unspoken thoughts find expression, locked away in a room only seen by my late mother. The keys to my peace rest with her. Okay, so maybe this was the grandpa talking. Was that grandpa? There was a note in the bathroom. All right, well, if it's a clean walk to the bathroom, I'll check it. But now I'm here singing, bro. Oh my god, man. Come on, man. Hello? Bro, why can this be shorter? Three hours of this? Well, I have to do a two part series, bro. Eh. God. Uh -huh. uh, let me get a headache from all this squinting. <sighs> all right. Nope. Bathroom. I'm pretty sure I read this note in the bathroom. Or maybe I just saw the dishwashing fluid. Oh, okay. July 11th, 
In the home of uh, the famous late Ethel Myrtle, with my future wife. Okay, wait. Oh. Now we're trying to see. So, Ethel, there's a title the titular Ethel. So, Ethel is dead, and he's now in the house with a new woman. Dang. You should know better. She's been nagging me for months. Dang. To take a trip out here, so I surprised her with a visit to explore her idol's former residence. Her idol. So Ethel was was a I can imagine was a popular writer. She's dead now. The husband's bringing his new wife to be to see his dead ex wife's house. I mean, do I got that right? Bruh. Despite his hidden location, I had a connection who had worked for Ethel. I'm so confused. Rumors circulated about the grandson's involvement in Ethel's disappearance, driven mad after the war, I'm guessing. The husband ended up disappearing after the events, and he hasn't been heard from since. Some thinks he's out looking for his grandson to seek revenge or something, even if he's still alive. I would have liked to see more of this place, but nearly every door was locked. Well, we got one of them open. Preserving his history. Claire insisted on respecting the place after I mistakenly tagged up some of the walls. I'll try to clean it up before we leave. We're hanging out in the bathroom, smoking and sharing a few drinks. Claire brought out her Ouija board. Bro, why I gotta do something like that? To connect with Ethel, she's a bit of a fanatic. I never believed in that stuff, but whatever makes her happy. She seems off lately, but I'm glad this trip here made her day. Even though this place gives me a heavy feeling, I boarded up the back door to the request of Claire so that when we leave, she at least has a sense that the place is protected. All right, we're gonna check this place out to see what we can find. So what, do they never make it out? All right. All right, I yeah 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 yeah. I guess I got to go back downstairs. I'm trying to find you. Ah! Ah! Nope. What? Rush. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why was this denied? Did... Where's Grandpa? She's playing with me down here, man. <clears throat> god. All right, squint mode activated. I'm not looking up, so go ahead, do your thing. Hmm. I need some sunglasses to play with. I'm about to turn the lights back on. I want my hand held more in this game. So her ghost is running around the basement. I run around the floor, run around the main floor. Listen, Grandma, I ain't got nothing to do with all this. So where am I supposed to go? All right, so I got a key, but I unlocked the door. Any more photos to interact with? Let's take a little peek at Roni.
Let's see. I'll take a peek in the living room. Can't talk to Birdie. On the bookshelf. What does that say? Psychology. Psychology, psychology. Photos? Photos? Okay, let me check back. This is my grandmother. A picture is above. Okay, okay. Yo, when that running started, I just closed my eyes, man. Like, it just makes me think, in real life, am I going to do that? I got to go train. I got to go to a jujitsu camp. Seriously, because my first... I'm just going to... Like, please, you know? I'm tweaking, man. This is too much. Stuff like this tweaks me out, bro. In a photo from years ago, my great grandfather stands proudly beside his daughter's nieces and nephews in a few years of completing the house he built with his two sons. Okay, we read this one. Man, shout out to Salo. Ooh, this game's tweaking me out. I need a hint. I need a hint. I'll take all the hint. I'll take a hint. I'll take a hint. <laughs> I'll take a hint. You figured me out. You, fi you figured me out. <laughs> Wait, there's something on the paint buckets? Green topaz add. You can find me if you try, but I can't be seen with the naked eye. Hmm. You can find me if you try, but I can't be seen with the naked eye. All right, hold on. I got a bite of this like lemon cornbread muffin. Let me take a bite of that real quick. Hmm. It's good. Kind of sweet, kind of moist. It's bedtime gaming with Dr. Madness. I'll take a hint. Yo, I bet grandma is like, bro. Bruh. <laughs> grandma! Ah! Pinky. Check the pictures. Okay. Check the photos, Pinky. Photo dun dun dun. Photo dun dun. Photo arigato, Mr. Ogato. Photo arigato, Mr. Ogato. Photo. 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 Okay, let me get ready to squint. That lemon corn muffin, whatever, was good. Like a lemon muffin, man. Grandma's parents, after finishing the very home, I'm standing in. I read those. We hit the bathroom, we hit the note. Every time I hear that little scoop. That's what it makes me think of. This is the painting that Paul. Oh my God! Look at the faces. I can't keep. That's too much. Oh my God! That's too much. Are they getting worse? Oh my God! That's making my skin crawl. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna have to take another shower after this. This is a painting that Paul did. Not quite sure what it's supposed to represent, but I was giving me the creeps. Yeah, let me get me off that. I'm ready to just. I'm ready for this to be over. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> the fear. The fear. Check the pictures. I checked all the pictures downstairs. I checked this photo. Oh, the black butler. I saw this one too. Okay. 
Do I need, can I pick him up? All right, back. Oh, back in this trouble room. It's the only photo I have in shit. Sure, kind of swaggy, right? I feel like it's probably ahead of his time for what, 19, what, 16 or whatever? What, 19, 60? Uh, maybe if it's the 60s, I guess it's right on time. Right? I feel like I've seen every photo in the house. I missed one upstairs. How, what are y'all seeing that I'm not seeing? Let me go back out to the hall. Mm -hmm. All right, I checked the grandpa. Some people are good at these puzzle ones. I checked this one, which is disturbing me greatly. I checked this one, which is disturbing me so much. It's like it's making my gift the heebie-jeebies. <gasps> oh, this was giving me the mega heebie-jeebies. My young grandmother stands between her two sisters beneath my great-grandmother. Whoa. Ah! Oh, I turned off the, the damn flashlight. <laughs> Bruh. I thought I broke the game. Yo, that's gonna give me a heart attack, man. I don't know. I'm gonna try, man. That that one really got me right there, bro. I really. Yeah, really, y'all really. Dang, bro, why are you gonna why are you doing this to me, man? Why can't you do any other game? Can I make an action game? Oh god. Is that picture still on the wall, bro? Ugh. Ugh. That made my heart about jump on my chest. Y'all better tell me what to do next, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Anyway, okay. Yeah, my character blacked out, bro. <laughs> Give me a hit, man. <laughs> Somebody give me a hint. Oh, okay, deep breath, deep breath. Oh. All right, what do y'all want from me, man? It's bedtime gaming with Dr. Madness. I'm glad y'all can't see my face right now. If you guys can see my face right now, you'd understand. Yeah, I'm scared, for real. Yeah, I'm scared. The game like this, and I downloaded another game you were talking about, Demon Within Me or whatever. It was on sale. I, I now I know I won't be. I know I won't be playing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, downstairs again. I mean, it's hard to play with my eyes closed. I love horror games, but like I wish I could just be watching. I wish I could be watching the stream, but. <laughs> Please help me. It should have been co-op so somebody could. Picks downstairs to give me more clues, yeah. Let me look at more pics. Yeah. More pictures? Sure. Birdie. My only calm place in this world of darkness. In this world of madness. It's Dr. Madness. 
All right, let's take a look at some more photos. Oh, good lord. Oh my god. So I'm 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 I'm, I'm trying to get over my PTSD. I, this is going to give me a whole new slew of PTSDs. I'm so looking forward to a hot shower after this. Yeah, I'm about to turn the lights on. Ugh, oh, God. <laughs> All right, I'll take a hint. I'll take a hint. I'll take a hint. It's your boy, Dr. Madness. Smash that like. The doctor is in. The doctor is scared. <laughs> Don't make me hit the panic button. Yeah. Yeah, you're playing the beast inside tonight. That'll be uh, you live streaming it. Okay, picks downstairs. Give me more clues. All right, all right, Tony. Shout out to Tony Shoulders for producing an absolutely terrifying game, bro. At least, bro, this yo, and this some Outlast level scares. We read that. I'm so sick of these photos, man. I'm done. I'm done with these photos, man. I'm sick of the scares. Thank you for giving me all oh, what I needed to. Oh, oh, what I needed to. What photo am I am I missing in the downstairs? Am I miss a check? Man. Oh, I'm getting the heebie jeebies, man. Why did the clock stop? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I don't want to go back down that hallway. <laughs> Bro. The doctor is I'm in. scared. <laughs> Pictures in the hallway. Well, here's another hallway. Oh, picture in the hallway where the riddle is. Well, this is a riddle hall. Oh, this is tweaking me out, man. Oh, God, this is tweaking me out. <coughs> Anybody want to do remote <clears throat> game share and Oof. Oof. And just play it for me. Okay, okay. Let me recalibrate. Let me think. The picture downstairs mentioned electricity to turn the power on. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, let me read this again. A picture of my grandmother's parents. This house was constructed by my great grandfather. He built it from the ground up. Utilizing his skill, he repurposed the old fashioned foundation. Bro, I can't read it. That sits on the hill behind this one for storage. And install the power supply that currently serves the house. So you mean to tell me there's an old foundation that sits on the hill that I got to go to? All right, so there's a house on the hill with a power supply. Uh, 
All right. So I need to go behind the house. Put the house on the hill. Oh my god, I'm so tweaked, man. Put the house on the hill. Pop sleeping pill. I'm, I know I'm gonna see something out in these woods. Why would you do this to an innocent man? <sighs> Some things in life I don't understand. Oh, a padlock. Yay. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Skyrim, man. Can I get some mead? What is this? Bro, that's where they burned up grandma. <laughs> Levi Rock Row. <laughs> Ethel? I liked your books. Ethel? Ooh, anyone who's played Texas Chainsaw Massacre know about these. Actually, wait, I'm missing. Oh, it's missing. G -g 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 -g. I think the old man left extras in storage. Storage meaning where? Meaning back outside, like in another building, another storefront. I got to walk to. What's going to be behind me, huh? You want me to turn around, don't you? Yeah, you want me to turn around and face a jump scare. So I'm going to close my eyes now. I'm going to turn around. I know it's just a game. I know it's just a game. <laughs> you made it. You made it. Yeah, them damn rats. Where am I even going? Is the storage down here? Or do I got to leave the basement? in the house.
Oh, there it is. I need to put something on to cover my eyes, man. This is just too much, man. Please. Grandma. Pinky. Shout out to <clears throat> shout out to Pinky Winky. Where, tell me where to go, Pinky Winky. Winky winky. Wait, what am I looking for? That fuse? This is storage for sure, right? Pinky winky. Would it be in the toolbox? Fuse, 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 I refuse. Keep going. Winky winky. Oh, oh. Grandma, I need you to come out. You know what, Grandma? Show yourself. You know what? I'm tired of being afraid. I'm ready to face my fears. I'm already all up in your house. You need to clean your dishes. I'm not afraid of you. I'm like a uh, James in the Giant Peach. I'm not afraid of you. You never did catch that rhino. I'm trying to talk myself not into fear. Okay, storage. Yeah, I'm trying to turn the lights on so I don't fear Granny. Can we start a fire? What? Where's storage? Do I gotta go back upstairs for that? Wait, where did what? Where was storage at? Was this the storage room before? Yeah, the chat's a bit delayed. You have to freak. Chat's a bit delayed. All right, well, I'm back in the. Let me check these chambers again. Maybe I'm missing something. Can I jump? Yeah, maybe I gotta reach up there. Backup fuse, backup fuse. Maybe I gotta go upstairs. Nothing in these cabinets. All right, where is this dag um fuse? <clears throat> Let's see. Family photos are absolutely giving me a tweak fest. Bro, is that crouching this whole time? Can I open a cabinet up for it? Hmm. Saw it on the shelf. The elf on the shelf? <clears throat> How did I miss the fuse? You guys got to put baby assist on. A red fuse on the shelf? Am I tweaking out? Oh, that tiny thing? No way, bro. <laughs> I didn't even know what that... I mean, I guess I should have known what to look for. I don't even know what I was looking for. I was looking for a red tube, bro. That's kind of on me. 
All right, <clears throat> here we go. Let's go. We did it. 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 Thank you for joining the madness. Welcome to the stream. All right, so open eyes, close eyes, squint, and walk. Show yourself, Granny. I'm ready for you. Oh, wrong. Wait, what the hell? Okay. She's going to be running out here. Oh, God. Granny oven. Ready? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> now what? Is it on? Yeah, good job, Pinky. You know something I don't. And where do I go power this thing? Are we on? Are we live? Is the power back on? Was that a completion? <clears throat> okay, let's see. Power's on. What's that? Steam leak? Come on, me. A little company. Sorry, sorry, I'm kind of squinting. <clears throat> crap, am I going? Oh, crap. I think I lost my way. I think I'm going backwards now. Okay. Am I going backwards? I'm here. I'm at the house. Oh. <clears throat> bro, Ben. Yo, Ben, I'm with you, bro. Let's nuke this entire site from orbit. That's the safest thing to do. Lights on? Hmm. <coughs> Granny. Grammy. I feel brave now, Grammy. We got some white, Sean. <laughs> Granny. Or what they did to you, Granny. Or what happened? You're still out. 
Annie. I want to let you know it wasn't me. I want to let you know it wasn't me. So I'm back in the house. I'm back in the house. I know a little objective map would be nice with some glowing fuse. I'm scared to walk back through the crib. Ethel. Ethel needs to clean the daggum kitchen. This reminds me of another <clears throat> game that I streamed called, um, I literally forget, <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Insomnus. I think that's what it's called. I was in another house. I had to read disturbing notes and I was scared. I think I got too scared to finish it. Yeah, horror game with a mini map. I mean, like, unless it's like Resident Evil or something, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Can I get these lights on? Grandma! <laughs> we gotta go upstairs, don't we? Grandmama? Let there be light? <laughs> Grandmama? Yeah, mini map would make things way... Yeah, I'd, I'd be sprinting. So I'd be trying to go as fast as possible for sure. Is this grandma? You were cute in this era, grandma. She's wearing a she's wearing a two thousand dollar Montclair. Still, her look. Yo, what's satisfying? You want to know what's satisfying? Turning on these lights. That's the most satisfying thing I've done in this whole game. Been able to turn on the lights. Grandmama? What's that noise? Oh no, here it is. Here it is. I just know it. Please, no, no. 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 Good. Good. He back there. Yeah, stay. <laughs> stay back there. <laughs> well, I'm tweaking. Show yourself. Show it. Show me. Give it! Show me! Give it! Show me! Give it! I'm here!
What? Bro, hold on. Stay out. I need a breather. I need a breather, bro. I need a breather. It's bedtime. Yo, it's bedtime gaming, gaming with, with Doctor Madness. <laughs> bro, this game is freaking scary, bro. What the heck? <laughs> oh god. Oh, I gotta breathe right here. That's too stressed. Oh god. Oh. I know I'm in Ethel. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm back. I had to just my had to I had to Alright. Ethel, we never met, but I'm in your room. Chapter 7. Whispers from the art room. <laughs> Ethel sat by the window, her gaze drifting past the falling snow to the door at the end of the hallway. The entrance to Arthur's sanctuary, his art room. It beckoned to her like a forbidden realm, a place she had not dared to enter and could not in years. The art room held a mystique that both intrigued and perplexed Ethel. It was a space of secrets, a haven where Arthur retreated to unleash the depths of his creativity. But there was more to it than just painting. Ethel often wondered what mysteries lay hidden within his walls. She imagined shelves lined with jars of pigments and brushes, canvases stacked against one another like silent witnesses to Arthur's artistic journey. But what drew Arthur to his art room time and time again was not just the act of painting, but the solace it provided. It was a place where he could escape the demands of the world, where he could lose himself in the strokes of his brush, in the swirls and the colors of his canvas. Ethel understood this, perhaps more than anyone else. She knew that Arthur's art was not just a hobby, but a lifeline, a tether to his true self in a world that often seems indifferent to his dreams. And as she sat by the window, watching the snow fall softly outside, Ethel couldn't help but wonder what secrets lay buried within the walls of the art room. She longed to unlock its mysteries, to understand the depths of Arthur's soul that he so willingly poured into his work. But for now, she could only wait and wonder, her heart heavy with the weight of unspoken truths. <laughs> All right, Ethel. He locked you out. I mean, get over it, right? I mean, you're haunting Bruh. him for years to come. Jeez Louise. It's your boy, Dr. Madness. Thanks for joining the stream. And thank you, Pinky Winky. Shout out to Tony Shoulder. This game is wild. All right. Look, I was enjoying reading because that gave me a break from the terror. Now the reading's over. And All right, Ethel, what else you got in here? Oh, look at the bed. That was like a hospital bed. Ethel wasn't doing too good. Ooh, okay. Eyes are closed. Oh, nope. Oh. 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 Uh, hell, I closed that door. I swear to God, I closed that door. 
When will you learn? I closed that door, bro. <laughs> I closed that door, bro. I closed the door. What are you doing here? Where is it? Bro, <laughs> I need you to stop doing this to me. The door closed. I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Bro, this is terrible, bro. This ain't no act, bro. This ain't no theatrics. We gotta say theatrics. Nah, this ain't no theater, bro. This is horror, bro. Scary, bro. Bro. This is pure fear, bro. It's taking everything not to log out. If I wasn't streaming, I would have been. I would have been logged out. I would have been logged out. Etta. Detention for you. No detention for you. I'm gonna slam the door. I know I wasn't supposed to be in your little thing. I know I wasn't supposed to see your little stuff. I know I wasn't supposed to be in your little house. Yeah, we missed what it was. Sorry. <laughs> I tweaked. You gotta you gotta put me in one of those forced cutscenes that forces me to look. You see all that pep talk I needed just to get outside the door. Stop. 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 Please. Oh my God, is that the headphones or real life, man? My eyes are literally closed, so whatever happens, happens. Please. Where? Hmm. There's a note in the room. Don't open that door up again. February 8th, 1951, to who it may concern. My name is Thomas Myrtle, the grandson of Ethel and Arthur Myrtle. I have no recollection. Election, the flash nights. Bro, he got so much blood on the text. Was Thomas bleeding on the letters? I have no recollection of last night's events. Yet I fear I may have committed a grave act. He needs to stop implicating himself on these letters, bro. You should have just said it out loud in the woods. Awakening beside a pool of blood in my grandmother's room. Sheesh, with her nowhere to be found. Our, she's in that oven we saw. That Hansel and Gretel oven we saw. Out there in the shed. Our senseless argument from yesterday Bruh. morning seems to have spiraled out of control. I cannot bring myself to force my family. To face my family. So I'm deciding to vanish. So that's going to make you look even worse. So you leave a message implicating yourself and then you disappear. Got you. I never intended harm towards you or grandma. And I wish you were here to have stopped me. Grandma, my love for you is immense. 
and I'm deeply sorry for believing I had changed. You were right all along. I am a piece of shit. Dang, bro. Okay. Um. All right, so we read the note. We're in Ethel's room. We got to get back down the hallway. Okay, here we go. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's Dr. Madness. <clears throat> Thank you for joining the Madness. Welcome to the stream. It's bedtime gaming with Dr. Madness. We're doing some bedtime madness. Uh, Dame, uh, duh, I'm seeing, I'm twisted up. Any hints are good. I love the hints. All right, so. Let's make sure we keep that chat section PG. Family friendly. All right, um, so we're back in the bathroom. Lights are on. Um, I guess I'm going to check that other bedroom. Oh. Where's grandma? I mean, I've been walking. I'm gonna have to find a tape for that, but. <clears throat> Looking for the art room key. Hmm. Art room key, where could it be? Wait. What's this? Oh, here your pills right here, Granny. Good bro. Granny, go. Go your pills right here. Here, Ethel, come get them. We can stop all the whole uh, haunting right here. Here, here your pills right here. <laughs> all right, so I guess we're looking for that art room key. Reread the note in that room. Okay. You're right. See, what's happening is I'm realizing you got to look closely. You know, most horror games kind of walk you through a lot of, a lot of it. But I got to look. I got to look closely at each letter. What's that? So let me just let me look at this letter again. All right, my name is Thomas Myrtle. So he awakened us out of a pool of blood in my grandma's room. So we're in her room. This probably would explain the blood on the note. Our senseless argument from yesterday morning seemed to have spiraled out of control. I cannot bring myself to face my family. I never intended to harm you, Grandma. I wish you stopped me. My love for you is immense. I'm deeply sorry. So I reread this note. The blood on the floor. Blood on the dance floor. So maybe there's something on the floor. Yo, Granny, your pills have been here the whole time. Wait, let me read. Secrets within the walls of the art room. It all boils down to the art room. And I'm like thinking, imagine a key would be like on the floor. I wish I can kick. You should let you kick Granny's walker. Grandmama.
Grandmama? Oh, the room where the tape recorder is. Yeah, feel free to drop some hints. Feel free to drop some hints. Because I trust me, I'll never guess it. <laughs> I'll just sit here and walk through the same room a hundred thousand times. I used to have to go to Game Facts. I mean, who who didn't have to go to Game Facts for Ocarina of Time walkthroughs? Did I read this? Oh yeah, this is where he hates on his he hates on the house where he'd rather be back at the war. All right, so I'm in the room with the tape recorder, so there may be a goodie in here somewhere. Where would, okay, let's think like grandpa. Where would grandpa hide his art room key, right? Is that what we gotta think like? Grandpapa. Where would, where, wait, did he hide it in the floorboards? If y'all put something in the floorboards, y'all are going crazy. Yeah. I hear that creak, Grandpa. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, so uh, under his pillow, where is Grandpa? I'm in the art room. Grandpa. Hint in that note. All right, um, so grandpa arrival, the wall seemed to close in as a routine. The canvas becomes a sanctuary. The canvas becomes a sanctuary. The keys to my peace rest with her. The keys to my peace. The keys. Wait a minute. The canvas, the keys rest with the canvas becomes a sanctuary locked away in a room only seen by my late mother. Okay, but which room belonged to the late mom? Okay, so the late mother is locked away in a room hid by the late mother. Was it, okay. Ethel, when I see you, I'ma slap you. The key was hidden away in his late mother's room. That's what the note said. And this must be the late mother's room because this is her bed. I know I'm not going crazy. This must be in this room. This is the late mother's room. Bride and the groom. All right, where's the key at? But I kind of looked around. Where's the key at, Grandma? I have a structured settlement. Where's the really? Where's the key? I'm lifting the pillows, checking the walls, checking the bookshelf. Is this not, maybe this isn't the late mother's room. Maybe this is, uh, okay. Hmm. All right, so uh, what am I missing? Is the key under the bed? Is there a crawl button? Am I missing something? That's the grandmother's room. His wife. Oh, we got to go to the, we're in the wrong bedroom. Let me out. Oh God.
Keren mama. Groen mama. Do we gotta go downstairs? Oh, come on. Grandma room down here? Grandma room not down here. No, oh, son of a cookie crisp. Wait, what did we are we are? Where y'all keep where y'all keep grandma at, man? Hey, grandma, I'm about to start rocking with you. Grandma, come on out. We can make build an alliance. All right, maybe I need to go back upstairs. Grandma, grandma, grandma. All right, I don't I don't know which room is grandma's room. I've checked everything in everybody's room. I went downstairs. Ooh. Three AM? Y'all doing that witching hour, huh? Lights are nice. <laughs> living room urn. Oh, the living room urn. I mean, come on. I mean, now when you put it that way, it makes total dang on sense. Where she rests. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, that makes sense. You take off the rubber boots. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, that makes sense. Ethel. 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 All right, my eyes are closed. We turn around. Ethel is Ethel is Ethel is Ethel. Ethel is Ethel, Miss Ethel. I got the key. Man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ethel, it's Ethel, it's Ethel. Granny, don't. Granny, don't. Granny. Ooh, is it the art room? Oh, crap. Grandpa was demented. Grandpa. Grandpa nasty. Tonight marks the final stroke of my brush within these walls as I ready myself for the eve to come. The canvas before me depicts a man dissolving into the ennui and the weakness that surrounds me. The tape recording is safely secured in my study, but I'll be long gone before the ears of another ever even hears it. I want to play a game. What tape was he talking about? I need to get into that office. It's Sammy, it's Sammy. This was the coveted office? Man, Grandpa wasn't doing nothing here. <laughs> yeah, he's got these, these are old Hollands. These are old Holland oil paints. Series E. Okay. 
So what? So now I got to get to the study. What's that noise? That's a light bulb. Anything else in here before I dip out? All right, let me get up out of here. All right, um, it locked. All right, so how am I going to get into the office? Any more? Is there any more clues in here? Because I'm not, I don't, I'm not really equipped with nothing else unless something's going to happen. All right, let me read that note one more time. I know the notes hold answers. Final stroke of brush, walls, canvas before me depicts a man dissolving and the weakness. So it's a depiction of himself, I guess. He didn't really. All right, I guess I need to just get back downstairs and see what awaits. <laughs> Keep looking in the art room so it's not over in here. Look, there's like a face right there. That's kind of creepy. Is that a face built into that? It's like a freaking, like a, uh, 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 I don't know, like a creepy face. Stop. Good thing you can't let people move stuff around. I'll be tweaking out thinking you got to move everything a million times. Can I read the paper newspaper clippings? Let's see, I see the painting. Wait, I see that, see that. What tape? Need to get into that office. Oh, the only color he's missing is clear. <laughs> what? Wait, the only color he's missing is clear. Haha, <laughs> there's even fluorescent paint in here. Oh, he's joking that he has everything. All right. Uh, okay. So, so, so what? So what? So I need to go check the paint. Oh, fluorescent paint. <laughs> All right. So what? I'm gonna go. Can I pick up the paint? Splash it on the wall. Do I need to pick up a paintbrush. Start painting. Turn on the light. There's a light in this room. But these lights are just look like plug. <laughs> plug. All right, we got some light in here. If it is a general bill. All right, arm. A painting. All right, so am I? L uh, dun dun dun. I'm doing a deep scan of this room. I see these, but I can't unearth them. Turn on the light so we can see. Turn on the light so we can see. Turn on the light. Turn on the lights on. Turn on the light so we can see. Wait, 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 wait. So are you telling me I'm gonna figure this out, bro. He's return on the light so we can see. Give me another riddle, but like, don't tell me, but like, you know, let me, I wanna know, I wanna learn. I wanna be, I wanna complete a riddle for once. Turn on the light so, th look, let me turn it on. Let me, y'all, these are saw traps. 
turn on the light so that you can see. All I see is this old, creepy, Corella DeVille torn up tiger couch that looks like a weird face. Looks like something out of scary stories to tell in the dark. I see a half butt naked bust. UV light? Do I need to leave this room? Can I pick up the paint? I am stuck. I am stuck. Another hint, Mr. DeMille. Do I need to leave here to get this UV light? I, I get the idea of fluorescent light. It's just my flashlight is not UV. Can I dip my flashlight in UV paint? Do I need to leave this room? Is it time to leave? Is it? We just dropped an SOS in the chat. Thank you for joining the madness. Welcome to the stream. I don't know if it's something to dip out of. <laughs> Listen, I know, I know. That's what I was thinking. Storage. I knew, I know, I know. I know just where I got. Oh, God. It's Ethel, it's Ethel, it's Ethel. I know, just where I gotta go. See? I was wrong. Grandpapa? All right, I see some extra paints here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Green topaz. Grandpa, what the flying? <laughs> Bro, what? Y'all hear that? Oh my god. Perfect. It's Dr. Madness. Leaving everything's okay. I thought I was just playing by everything I was seeing before when I had all the lights on. I was just playing by all the stuff. Of the
Screw you, Grandpa. Screw you, Ethel. <laughs> Grandpa, me, Ethel. Ethel, Grandpa. Good. Heavenly Father. John 14, 2. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not, so I would have told you. I go prepare a place for you. Isn't that right, Grandma? Isn't that right? Time to go back upstairs. Heart palpitations are at about uh, <laughs> 99 beats per minute. I'm dead. Four numbers. The lock had four digits. Now, I know that much about the lock. Oh, wait. Wait, yeah. The lock had four digits. It's Ethel, it's Ethel, it's Ethel. It's a four digit combo lock. Ethel, look, I know it's been a long night. We're both tired and we could use some rest. You ever been to cookout burger? I hear they do a mean cheer wine. All right, so I'm going to need the combination code. Don't send me back out to that shit. It should be morning by now. Let's get about it here. First clue, first hint, first light. I'm looking for my first UV. Bro, I'm stressing. You said you need the doctor? You need the doctor? The doctor is in. All right, so I need to look. So now I'm going to use the UV light in order to find the four digits for the four digit combo log. That seems straightforward. She's humming, she's here. I'm done. She's here, it's time. Where do I go, it's time. Listen, everything is, is about everything. I, life is living. I believe in love. Oh, grandmother, how could I have done it to you, grandma? Grandma. I didn't mean it. The pills, they, it was the Flintstones. You know how it goes. You'd kill for them too. <laughs> Maybe I am changing. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Okay, well. I'm sorry. I really am. Just, just looking for the codes. Oh God! Just look. There's your freaking. That was the otherworldly. She was there? I'm glad I haven't seen her, to be honest with you. <laughs> Is 
There's a lot of combinations, Ben. I missed another scare. I'm missing all the scares, bro. My bad. <laughs> you gotta. I miss another scare. I'm doing the no. I'm. This is the no. I'm doing the run where I try not to avoid grandma the, the whole time. That's going to be the name of this one. I did this game and avoid grandma the whole time. All right. So I haven't seen one UV number. I haven't seen one UV number, gang. What are they all in one room or something? Man, look. I need you guys to make put me in a cut scene and force the force the camera. Oh, that screen grab was good. Let's see. Turn the lights off on that. Anyway, all right. I'm looking for a UV. Uh, yo, unless Ethel pulls up in my face, I'm not gonna see her, bro. Unless uh, she needs to. She, Ethel's gonna have to grab me and look me in my eyes. I've been through the whole house. I haven't seen a UV anything. I haven't seen a code anywhere. I'll take a hint on where possibly these numbers could be if I'm completely off base. Uh, just to get me close, get me right there. Did I miss another scare? <laughs> Cause I freaked the out. My ears are taking a lot of damage. Bro. Oh. Where is the code? Somewhere in the kitchen. Oh, it's frowned upon to make them look. Nah, I say make. Sometimes you gotta make them. I gotta make a watch. I love a good cutscene. I like earning a good cutscene. You know, make make me earn. I feel like if I if I get through a puzzle. Give me a give me a cutscene. Give make make me watch something. Give me something. That's the reward. The cutscenes are always a reward. All right, two in the stairs, one in the kitchen. She's there. She's here. She's here. My eyes are closed, bro. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care no more. My eyes are closed. If I don't see it, I don't see it. If y'all don't see it, God bless y'all. Y'all gonna have to just forgive me. What the hell is that noise, bro? What you mean? It's auditory horror. I can't even walk. Bro, are you serious? I'm done, bro. I'm about to be done. I can't. My heart can't take much more. No. The codes are on the ceiling, bro. Oh god, bro. I'm, just, I'm literally too scared to look up. <laughs> I know, man. I know. Look, 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 look. It's not you. It's me. 
Yeah, but it's not you, it's me. This game is truly terrifying. Yo, listen, man. I Horror games, I will turn them off, bro. I have not gotten this far and like games is scary bro i turned them off so getting through this is so rare bro i'm like all right i'm done I'm about to go back to power wire simulator look any normal person would have looked on the ceiling man so i'm just expecting to see the damn ethel in the corner <laughs> So I saw the nine, okay. Oh, you it can interact with it? All right, let me go back to that nine. Oh, it, it'll throw it up in the... Grudma? Grudmother? Yo, as soon as we get out, we're gonna order construction to get this whole place... Uh... We're not even gonna blow it up. We're gonna set fire to all this. Actually, no, we're going to nuke it, like Ben said. So now I'm doing ceiling checks. Nine. Oh, you said two in the stairwell, one in the kitchen. Okay, 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 okay. I got this. I got this. I'm brave. I'm brave. Wait. Get out of mama. I would have. I would have quit out this long time ago, bro. After that first few scares, I would have been gone. Grun mama. Okay, look. Excuse me, chair. I'm doing ceiling checks. Yeah, I've definitely made it less scary. If someone was doing a like a no commentary play, it would be terrifying. Oh, there it is. There it is. Come on, yeah, I better run me that second number. Wait, I had a mouse, in my hand, wait. Huh. How's that I'm missing in here? One is underneath the stairs. One is upstairs hallway. Damn, you guys are just had you just telling me now. I feel like a feel like a, a freak. This is how it feels when you go we just how you feel when you gotta Google it tips. Whoops. Oh crap, what have I done? Am I back? Trust me, that's the same feeling. When I look down and I see your tips, that's how I feel when I gotta go Google answers and they- <laughs> Ah. Uh. 
All right. We almost done. Ah! We almost done, bro. Ah! My heart. <laughs> bro. Yo, was he for real? Was that grandma or an alien? <laughs> I don't know what I saw. Damn, I don't know. I didn't even see shit. So I just kind of scribbled. Yeah, four one nine. One is upstairs hallway. That gotta be the last one. Uh uh, please come on, man. Just chill, please. Man, you hit these good, bro. Of course it's not in the right over. Look, I'm the I'm the common I'm the combination lock god. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the combination right. I ain't worried about that. I'm the combination lock god. That's what I'm good at, bro. Just give me I rather just unlock combinations all stream. One in the hallway, huh? Grandma, I'm hungry, grandma. What's for dinner, grandma? Burger and fry. You said there's one in this hallway? Am I off my rocker? I know I got one code left, guys. Come on, cheer me on. <laughs> yeah. We can do it. <laughs> Clap for the madness. This isn't over. There's one more in the hall. Where the hell? We're in the hall. You guys see anything I don't? Yeah, just let me try. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. Y'all didn't gave me so many hints. Do not put it on this creepy grandma face, bro. And I'm not trying to look out the windows either, man. See, I probably put that out the window, didn't you? Please, hello, anyone there? Barbara? Chat, if y'all think y'all know where you can guess or imagine where it's at, please tell me. Look, it's about to be daybreak. Chat, if you know where it's at or think you know where it's at in this hallway, because I'm walking up and down the hallway like, a, like I'm the damn ghost. Yeah, Ben, we'll be there all day trying to add in that the red. 
Uh oh. I've cleared this hallway. I've cleared this freaking hallway, dude. I'm not. I've checked it. Oh, boy, if you don't get. Don't make me hit the panic button. I'm ready for whatever you're about to give me next. My heart can go on. Turn that clock off. Turn that grandfather clock off. Stop it, man. I got it. First try, boy. Code God. Code God. Don't mess with me, boy. I'm the Code God. I thought it was bull, boy. I'm the Code God. Play with me. Psst. No. Where's my light? What room is this? If we had a sledgehammer, we could have solved all of these problems. Just broke, broke these doors down. Grandpa's hat is fedora. Wait. The tape. Let's give it one time for the tape. Yeah, I'm the code god. We know just where we need to go put that tape, so let's go. The lights back on in the house. Stop. She was murdered. Run it. Tell me the truth. Congratulations. You've stumbled upon my tape, where I'm certain I'll be six feet by now. Here's the truth. I snuffed out my wife, Ethel Myrtle, with my own hands. Craftily. I killed the whole my legal grandson. I knew it. I knew that. Tommy breeze to deceive my hands may be dirty but yours will bear the weight of the blame jesus screw him you see when you've got one soul dependent on meds to numb the pain and another reveling in them for twisted delight pitting them against each other is child's play just drop the pills next to the addict's pitiful bedside i waltz in the virtuous savior someone walking down the hall Deceitful game of poker as he rises to use the head, I sneak a generous dose of sleep into his tea. Sweet dreams, Tom. 
you gullible pawn. Once Ethel was dealt with, I moved his body into her quarter. Mm. When he comes to, I'm sure he'll believe the terrors of the war made him do such a terrible thing. He won't suspect it was me. Little does he know, I had him dancing to my malicious tune. I've got him fooled. I fed him a load of lies, making him believe I'm off. Dang, this guy is evil. I'd kill him too, but unfortunately, he's my cover. Ethel, let's get him together. I've gambled my life for this damn country. Yet, who gets the accolades? Not me, but Ethel. Maybe once I erase Ethel, you don't even. They'll finally acknowledge the greatness I've achieved, the masterpieces I've crafted. And if they still don't, well, this confession will cement me as the legend who silenced the renowned author Ethel Turtle and got away with it. Your, Your parents, parents will hear about this one. one. He sucks. Dang. I'm more than happy to get the hell out of this house. She's outside, isn't she? Ethel, I'm sorry. I didn't know. She's out here. It's time to meet Ethel. Okay, she's not out there. The attic. Come on, bro. It's done. Let's leave. Here it is. The moment we've all been waiting for. Ethel. What the hell? Ethel, I'm so sorry. I had to learn your dark story. Oh, no, forgive me. Ethel? The damn Ouija board. Oh my God. Time to play. My dearest man. <laughs> Hold on one second, bro. My dearest Max, it's hard to put into words the turmoil swirling within me. I need you to understand that my love for you was genuine, but the path I've chosen was driven by desperation. Losing my mother at a young age left a void only Ethel could feel. Her books became my refuge, guiding my life's trials, guiding me through life's trials with their messages of hope and joy. The road I've taken deceiving you to enter her cherished haven, oh my god, was not fueled by malice, but by a sense of duty. In this life, I find it hard to find purpose. It's not like he's making excuses, but we're gonna rock with it. Even the prospect of motherhood couldn't anchor me in purpose. Yes, Max, I'm three months pregnant. Wait, 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 who's, 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 who? I owe Ethel everything. Oh, this is the new wife. With this book of spells and your sacrifice. <gasps> sacrifice? I'll protect the place you once caught home and where those cherished books were born for all eternity. You once said you'd do anything for me and I believed you. So I slipped poison into your drink knowing you'd understand. You look so peaceful now in that bed and I promise to protect your soul. You may rest while I remain forever, Max. Wait, did she kill her husband? Who killed who? <laughs> Love always, Claire. It's time to flee in panic. Yeah, I need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, bro, you need to get the hell out of here. <gasps> they left the... She killed herself in the tub, or did they put the body in the... I don't care. I'm out. Oh, God, that's dark. Ethel's gonna be right behind me. 
Dang, it's a yeah. We about to nuke. We about to nuke. We about to nuke. I just want to go home. Ethel, I'm. So I'm sorry. I'm. Huh? Get Christ. I caught cookies. Cookie, cookie, cookies! Oh, jeez! Ethel! Ooh, Ethel got a fire! Oh, Ethel got a... Ethel, Ethel, Ethel! Oh! Ethel? It's Dr. Madness. Bad ending! Wait, bad ending? Ah. What? No, you. bad ending. I'm gonna get the bad ending. What do you mean you I get the bad go. ending? <laughs> oh, damn. Now the consequence is absolute. Anyone stepping into the house is inconvertibly bound by the anticipated and unrestrained power. Damn, we let the demon out. <laughs> the truth remains veiled. I don't know what this and your name is forever tarnished by the man who succumbed to the madness and I lied and I wait, wait, no, I, I, this is a terrible ending. I didn't kill grandma. It was a freaking husband. Oh, now I get it, wow, and now I get framed? No, bro, I get framed. He can't be stopped. I got a bad ending. Wow. Wow, it's your boy Dr. Madness and we just ran Ethel. Welcome to Club Madness. Shout out to the mad genius, Tony Shoulders. Bro, that game was so scary, bro. That game was scary, bro. Run it again. Clap for the madness. It's your boy Dr. Madness. Clap for the madness. Oh. Wow. That was good, man. Perfect. None of this would have been possible without the unwavering support of my incredible wife, her encouragement and understanding sustained me through late nights, early mornings, and countless irritation. Shout out to the wife. <laughs> to her and to every player who experienced my creation, I extend my heartfelt gratitude. Your presence in this journey adds a profound layer of meaning to the pixels and lines of code that now form a part of my story as a game developer. Thank you and for being a vital part of this thrilling game. Please leave a review wherever you purchased it, please. Wow. It's Dr. M. Let's go. It's your boy, Dr. Madness. And shout out to your boy, Tony Shoulders for a scary one. Ethel, we beat it. Yo, I never beat horror games. Let's run it up, 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 run it up. We all go a little mad sometimes, haven't you? Wow, bro.